All right. Um, so hello, my name's Maya. I'm Shefan's daughter, um, and he is in Germany right now, so can't be here with us, but I'm presenting the project. I am a Bachelor of Design student here at the University of Melbourne, um, and I'm going to take you through it. So the project is titled This House Never Ends, um, and it was coined by my brother, who, when walking through the project, said, this house never ends, because there's just so much to explore, so much to see around every corner. Um, and it's an extension at the back of an Edwardian weatherboard house in a dense inner city suburb. Um, it's quite fragmented and eclectic, which was a starting point for the design inspiration. Um, the house is stretched to the back of the site and there's these little modules that are um, rotated at 45 degree angles. It's a little bit unexpected but it makes the most of the site conditions and creates this series of interlocking spaces that when you move through the house it, it has this kind of gradual revelation and sense of exploration and discovery. So I'm going to present the project as if we were walking through it. Um, so let's go inside. So the uh, historic entrance has been pushed to the side of the house. You enter through a north-facing courtyard, which separates the old from the new. You've got these quite clear three distinct parts. The right, you've got the old weatherboard. The left, the new brick, and this timber link in between. And it separates the private kids' bedrooms, the uh, guest bedroom on the right, and the more communal living spaces on the left. Um, as you enter the house, different uh, spaces kind of gradually reveal themselves. This starts that sense of kind of discovery and exploration. Um, it's created by that 45 degree angle. Um, and each space uh, is, is kind of linked by this uh, brickwork, this recycled brick. Uh, but each space is also articulated slightly differently. So you've got this clear sense of threshold as you're moving through the space um, and also atmosphere. So here in the dining room, you've got the uh, exposed concrete floor and the uh, acoustic ceiling and then in the living space it's a bit of a warmer feel with the timber floor. <laughs> Light played a really important role in the design. Um, it was the motivation behind the uh, brick. The, it it kind of aims to create this warmth and, and softness um, and openings are kind of strategically placed to balance natural light but also to kind of draw the occupant into the next space and encourage exploration. So for example, that light filtering down and cascading over the stairwell kind of draws your line of sight in that direction and, and makes you want to kind of see what's up there. Um, upstairs areas in inner city Melbourne can often be neglected due to overlooking, overshadowing um, regulations. Um, and there's often not a huge interaction with the immediate context. So this house aims to kind of do the opposite. Upstairs, you've got this private patio accessible from the lounge and the study, um, and it aims to create the sense of openness despite being private and also really engage with the immediate context. You get views over the surrounding rooftops. Um, if you go up a level, you've got the, the rooftop terrace, which you see views of the city, views of the Dandenongs. As the, the uh, title of the project suggests, the house never ends, and this is an image that kind of demonstrates that. You see these vistas through the, through the house that link every space, and each, each of these kind of framings of openings is, is strategic that it um, reveals enough information to you that you kind of see what's coming, but not enough that you, you can't explore what's around the corner. Uh, the, the principle of uh, linking spaces but uh, through vistas but separating them is uh, carried outside and you've got this continuation of materiality. Um, you've got um, these views through courtyard through the house and it's kind of, there's, there's these considered moments. It's supposed to be um, an engaging place for a family to grow up in, um, a memorable place and you can imagine someone sitting on that little bench reading a book. You can imagine interactions between inside and outside so it provides an opportunity to engage with the house. Uh, despite being quite uh, complex in plan and design, there's this overarching aesthetic. So you've got, even in the bathroom, the, the wall finish kind of mirrors the, uh, the recycled brick that you can see on the outside there. And there's these clear vistas and directionality of where you should be looking and, and kind of links between the indoors and outdoors. This uh, level of, of detail is, is carried through to uh, the joinery, joinery uh, and fittings. 
and uh, it kind of uh, contributes to the, the character and identity of the house. Um, and it's, it contributes to that sense of gradual revelation that when you're moving through the house, you kind of notice all of these finer details and, and um, you, there's this sense of discovery of, oh, look, there's a, there's a little blue knob on the joinery unit. Um, fundamentally, this, this home is supposed to be an engaging um, and memorable space for, for kids. Um, and that's kind of demonstrated throughout the entirety of the home with the, the kind of eclectic planning, the, the choice of materials, um, that, that sense of uh, exploration, discovery, the fact that the house never ends, and of course, uh, the trampoline in the backyard, which is my favorite feature. Thank you.